Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, part two. I've got his map all back to cleaned up. In this video, I'm going to show, I think he's only going to use a couple, of, he's going to make it look like a puzzle, but he only wants a couple of pieces to be removable, you know, like uh, where he could, so they don't have to uh, put all the puzzles together. They could just take pieces of the puzzle. So this is all made up of, you know, lines and fields. And I checked it the other day and there's no hairlines. And I'm going to make, I don't know what size his laser bit is. Let's say it's 24 by 12. And if he was going to cut this map out or cut this uh, puzzle out of a piece of acrylic, you know, you don't want to go right to the edge. So here's how I would do it. First of all, I would convert all these lines into something thicker than a hairline. No, take it back. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make all these lines black. I'm right clicking. Then I'm going to make a duplicate. I'm going to nudge it over. Okay, and then I'm going to put my map in there and, you know, rearrange it the way you want it. So what I would do, I would, I'm going to nudge this further out of the way. And, you know, these are individual pieces. So I'm going to take my map back. I'm going to group this together, control G. And then I'm going to take my map and put it in there and get it where you want it. We want to cut out the map, but he only wants to cut a few pieces, and but the rest of them kind of look like a puzzle. My map's a little bit not in there yet. Whoop. So we can move it over and make sure it's in there. So this is what I would do. I'm going to take this and nudge it out of the way. In your piece, let's say your piece of acrylic is, you know, this big. Let's make it a uh, yellow. Well, yeah, that'll work to make it look like the acrylic order back of page. I would engrave that. Okay. Don't move the piece of acrylic. Just engrave that. Then I would take my map and nudge it out of the picture. And I would take this, and it's black and it's hairlines, okay? And I would run that at uh, 100 speed, 100 power in a vector cutting, but it's not going to cut all through the acrylic. Maybe 100 speed at 50 power. It's just going to mark it, okay, and make it look like a puzzle. Then, because we're nudging, we can nudge that out of the way. I haven't... And then pick the pieces that you, well, two things we need to do. We need to make the shape, shape of that rectangle. Nudge that out of the way a couple of times. I'm going to left click, right click in red and make it a hairline. I got to go to object and break the curve apart. Get rid of this outer box and make this a hairline. Because you need to cut the whole puzzle out and then nudge it back, okay? So that's going to cut the puzzle out of the acrylic. Then I'm going to take shapes that I, let's say I want to use that shape for the puzzle. It's a hairline. It'll cut out. Let's say we're going to use that shape for the puzzle and that shape for the puzzle. Let's make four of them. <clears throat> Regardless if it's black or white, this is going to cut out. So these pieces are going to fall out of the acrylic. The, and I like that you put rounded, a little bit rounded corners on the puzzle so it wouldn't be sharp. All this will cut out, but all this will be solid. So it'll, it's going to look like, hey, what we can do, let's move this out of the way. Let's turn these puzzle pieces blue. So those are the pieces that are going to fall out. And then this is what it's going to look like. 
these are just going to be cut to make it look like a puzzle. And then if you can imagine your map back on there, just remember, do not move your puzzle piece. You know, don't move your acrylic. Maybe, matter of fact, take some blue painter's tape and tape down the corners to help hold it and remind you not to move it. So that'll keep it in place. And then that way, so I would engrave it first, vector engrave it second, and then vector engrave at whatever power and speed, depending on what thickness acrylic you're gonna use. That would be my suggestion. I actually think it'd be pretty neat if all the pieces were cut out, uh, but I see the, I see what you're doing here. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.